I've been a bodybuilder for um, over 10 years, um, competing for five, and throughout going through the process of competing in state and national uh, competitions. I made it all the way to Mr. Universe in Hollywood, California, and won that. So the Natural Miss Universe is drug tested to Olympic standards, so everyone goes through the process of um, vetting as far as um, being tested for anabolic steroids, so it's a very even playing field. Well, I was told as a vego that I wasn't able to be a bodybuilder, so I thought, all right, well, I think I can do this. So I'd, um, I was really heavily into martial arts at the time, and so I, I took a rest from that and just dedicated uh, quite a few years to putting on muscle and, uh, and then competing in bodybuilding. So there's fantastic foods that you can get uh, protein from that are plant-based. So actually the, the best foods on the planet, so beans, uh, greens, seeds, nuts. These foods have got not only protein, but they've got a whole bunch of other nutrients as well that help build, build muscle, repair, and help you stay healthy. So Pranaron is a, a complete range for active and fit people. We've got everything from protein powders to multis to greens. So we support inner health, we support you in your movement and training, also your growth and repair. With, uh, we've got natural mass gainers. It's a great range. Uh, everything we do is 100% vegan. Uh, we're run by vegans. We employ mostly vegans as well. And uh, we also give to animal sanctuaries and uh, animal activist groups out there as well. Uh, Pranaron has got a great range. Um, everything we do tastes fantastic from our, our regular proteins to our specialty proteins. Uh, they help uh, re rebuild uh, muscle, they help for your inner health and help detoxifying as well. Uh, so we can really look at the whole range and um, people can have a complete stack of products there to, to really optimise their health and help with their recovery and performance. We've got a huge range of customers, everything from your grandmothers to your foodies to your bodybuilders. Uh, we're really um, popular, popular in the um, wider fitness community. So what's great about that is that everyone's uh, recognising the health benefits of vegan and they may not necessarily be vegan. They might still be on their journey to adopting a more plant-based lifestyle, but they're incorporating prana into their daily life and uh, really seeing the benefits. So last year at Welk Vegan Day, I put myself out there and um, completed the what, what is known as the heaviest CrossFit workout called King Kong, which is ironic because King Kong is also one of the world's biggest herbivores, so certainly mythological. But um, So I did King Kong, which I uh, did in about six and a bit minutes. Um, so this year I'm looking forward to doing something even more exciting. Um, that's It's also got um, a lot of emotion behind it as well. So I'm looking forward to putting on a, a strength and kindness uh, performance for everyone there. I've enjoyed having a, a rich life full of different experiences. Me, winning Mr. Universe is one of the things that I've done, but I also um, am a passionate martial artist. I've got different black belts. I've competed and trained throughout Asia. Uh, I love surfing. I go on surf trips and chase some big waves now. Um, I also um, dabble in CrossFit, uh, yoga. Um, so I'm really passionate about just embracing the movement. I feel that the vegan lifestyle really enables me to do that and um, stay immortal. The most amazing thing is, uh, it, actually it's a lot of little things. Um, people see you and they say, wow, you're looking healthy. Um, you know, I think for me, I feel clearer and my conscience uh, is really settled about the choices that I'm making on a, on a daily basis. Uh, but certainly, um, I find it much easier to be vegan now than a few years ago. There's so many um, great alternatives out there. So. Um, it's just a great experience and I think the best thing is sharing that message with others and seeing the effect it has on other people and just seeing their health improve and seeing people uh, really start to, to live in their best self because they're making a good conscious choice about what they're doing with their life. So this year I've been conducting an uh, Australia-wide high schools tour called Strength and Kindness and that's bringing the, the message of um, compassionate choices, critical thinking and healthy nutrition to school-aged children that are getting ready to enter the, the workplace or go into the university and start making decisions for themselves. And I'm finding that they're really receptive to the experience that I've had uh, because a lot of the myths that they have been uh, indoctrinated to believe 
I've dispelled through what I've done uh, in sport and um, and different competitions. So a lot of them are really open to it, and they think that it's something that they could adopt as well. So it's uh, fantastic to see literally halls of kids uh, put up their hand when I ask who's going to try and eat more fruits and vegetables, and uh, I get the whole room putting their hands up, and including the teachers as well. So this year it's about um, strength and kindness. I think that um, the message of vegan uh, really comes from a place of kindness. It's making kind choices and making uh, the, the kind choice for yourself and for uh, not only for the other animals out there, but also the earth that we all inhabit as well. So, and, and that also extends, I think, as vegans as well. I'll be talking to, to that community about kindness amongst each other as well. So we really want to embrace kindness in all facets of our life and show that that there is strength in that, and that's a higher place uh, to exist than, um, than making choices that are more divisive and uh, exclusive. Prana On, um, for us, is, it's a movement. It's about sharing the, the vegan message with the wider community and offering them a really tangible, exciting and compelling reason to incorporate uh, vegan into their lifestyle. So, what I love about it is that everyone that we have in our, our tribe uh, really epitomises um, and exemplifies the, the lifestyle and the um, beliefs of the brand. And we, we're really excited to share that at World Vegan Day. Uh, we sold out last year by about 12 o'clock uh, for all our products. So, uh, we'll be armed with, with a lot more people and a lot more product this year. But we're just really excited um, to share it with um, the community that's really close to our heart. Well, actually, I'd, I'd like to keep um, this year's um, Strength and Kindness performance a little bit uh, close to, to my chest. Uh, last year, King Kong was fantastic, really well received. This year, I want to do something that, uh, for me, it's going to take a lot of personal growth and it's going to take a challenge in my preparation for it. But I really want to uh, incorporate my experience as being a performer as well. I was Batman at uh, Movie World and worked as a, as a stunt fighter and performer for quite a few years. So this year is going to be incorporating a few of those different uh, aspects of my, my experience and putting together something that's also got a really amazing political and, and motivational statement behind it as well. Well, I've known for a long time that the, the vegan lifestyle is a competitive advantage. Um, you're eating foods, you're, you're replacing foods that are really bad for your health with foods that are fantastic for your health. And when you're an athlete at a high level, you're always looking for that next edge and the next way to perform better. And when you start eating a really solid uh, whole foods plant-based diet, you start to notice your performance uh, and your digestion and, and just your energy levels increase um, so dramatically. So I'm not surprised that there's more and more athletes uh, going that way. I think that if you're eating dead food um, and food that has no uh, energy, then that's the only what your body's going to be able to, to put out. So more and more athletes are turning to it. So I'm pretty certain that um, we'll have more uh, gold medal winners out there and leaders in the fitness community that are all vegan. Absolutely. Um, when your body's not inflamed, um, when your body's not having to uh, have terrible digestion due to um, in animal products, your body's actually able to do what it's meant to do. Your body can heal itself, your body can uh, repair itself, you've just got to give it the right nutrients. And the great thing about plant-based foods is you're not just getting protein, you're not just getting carbohydrates, you're getting vitamins, you're getting nutrients, you're getting fiber, you're getting antioxidants, so you're getting all these other tools that your body can use to repair itself. So your performance just goes through the roof. I'm really excited. Um, every year I look at my year ahead and I always like to put myself out there in competition. So this year I've got the Pan Pacific Games for Taekwondo as well. Um, next year I may look at going back to potentially bodybuilding or um, we'll see. I'm also going to chase some big swells uh, around the world. And uh, so for me, I'm just excited about trying something new. I think that's where, uh, for me, it causes so much personal growth and I really challenge myself and grow. So I always feel young when I'm always new at something. So I always look at go back to when I was really young and what excited me or what excites me now and I just pursue that. So at a time it was bodybuilding uh, and fitness and powerlifting and I've pursued those and they will always stay with me and now I'm just looking at more things that 
out there that excite me or, or used to and thinking, you know, how can I give that a go at, at the next level? So uh, next year I'll have my book Strength and Kindness uh, release. So I'm really looking forward to doing a mainstream media tour with that. Uh, I've been working on that for the last few months. Also conducting a Prana on Tribe retreat over in uh, the Island of the Gods, Bali. So we'll have access to amazing uh, vegan food, fitness, um, and really um, I, I want to share that, that whole lifestyle and, and really have people uh, join me with that and just experience um, life at the level that you can live over there uh, and, exp and, and just the growth that you have by being just immersed in, in all things beautiful. So Prana On is, is going fantastic. It's, um, it's moving throughout Asia now, so we're, we're finding that it's, um, it's the movement's really catching on. And what's exciting about that is that people are, uh, it's opening their minds to, to vegan, opening their minds to health, opening their minds to better environmental choices. So um, having uh, great products is one thing, but having a uh, real purpose behind that movement is exciting. So we're just getting, getting started really.